hi guys welcome back to the laravel video tutorial and in this video tutorial we are going to learn how we can use the bootstrap with the laravel in the basic php then you can uh, import the file with the required keyword or the include keyword then you can uh, use the uh, your header file in the every screen and you can easily uh, import the bootstrap file but how you can do that with the laravel all right so for that we have to use some special keywords in the blade template also so now let's see how we can do that all right so first of all i'm just going to make a just delete first of all this file right so first of all i'm just going to make a file um let's say let's make a folder first of all the layout all right and here i'm just going to put one more file the header header let's say head dot blade dot php all right and uh, outside that i'm just going to make one more file with the page dot php all right dot blade dot php and i'm just going to write something here like hello we are learning laravel right so just open the web.php file first of all to make this route so just change here one route with that like uh, you can use here page or same the, this is the view file that's why i'm just writing here view and inside passing the parameter name file oh, this is page okay so when i'm just going to use here page then you can see that we got this space all right so now uh, how we can include the bootstrap and how we can use this for that just go to the google and just write here bootstrap cdn okay and you can find any bootstrap cdn that you want so let's say i'm just going to find the bootstrap from here because it's easier to find and i'm just going to pick the head section from here all right and just close it and the same thing i'm just going to put in the head dot file all right so here you can see that we got the file here okay so but there is a no html tag and no body tag then how we can use that so now here i'm just uh, i can use the html tag and i can use the body tag also okay so here inside the uh, page i'm just going to uh, import this file and for import i have to just write here at the rate and there is a blade templating function you can see that extends and extends here you have to uh, path uh, you have to put the file path so as a file path is uh, first of all it's a folder name is the layout and inside the layout this is the head dot head okay so i think this is included here and for testing what we can do uh just reload the page and let's check let's check it there is some error no um let's check is with the test okay now you can see that uh, we have we got the all css here all right all head tag here so for the very quick i'm just going to add some buttons and uh, just checking that is it reflecting or not all right so i'm just going to put it put them in the body part of the blade dot uh, php here you can see that the all buttons are reflecting but if i just remove this file the buttons are not get the css they are the simple button right so here you can see that how we can include the bootstrap so now let's uh, learn that how we can make a navigation file also so that you can get some more explanation and more uh, clear the understanding so for that i am just going to make a one more file in the layout with the name of nav dot 
blade.php it's a navigation file because maybe in our site navigation is common okay so just uh, copy the code so that we can uh, catch it very easily otherwise if you are just going to write everything then it will take lots of time okay so here you can see that there is a lots of example let's say just take the example of this one how it's working actually let's see so here you can see that it's a bootstrap file and when I just shrink it up then it's look like that okay so uh, let's take a more complicated example like this okay so that uh, you can see some more things like extending and all all right so just copy the nav code from here okay and put inside your nav file and the same that we uh, just extend the head file we can extend the nav file inside your body and la now let's see now you can see that we got the page here all right so when i'm just going to shrink it then it's working the same all right so it's easy so thanks guys thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion related to this video related to the laravel and any other technology you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe our channel thanks guys